y'all, this your boy Ace here. Welcome to After News Delight. So, um, yeah, I couldn't, man. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. We've been waiting. A few of us have been waiting for this for a while, man, because um, basically, <clears throat> I know for sure uh, either Thrillers, Sammy Thompson, Kingdom, one of you guys, I mean, two or three of you guys. Let me know in the comment section if y'all watching this. That since like May, I think back in May, we predicted that Lee uh, and Steffi will probably fight about this. Um, and that there's a chance Lee blames Steffi for what happened uh, in the Foresters for why Finn got shot. That's crazy how you could be write about something months ahead of when it happens bro it's crazy how that works does it like because it was just a hunch like so a lot of times i just have a hunch and i don't read the spoilers or anything like that i just i just have a hunch that that's what's going on and i knew at some point they were gonna have to address this because i'm like at least from Steffi's point of view, I'm like, she wouldn't ask or have a concern why Lee didn't tell her before. I mean, like, Lee knew the guy was alive, and then she was literally in her face and didn't tell her. And then she got into a depression mode and everything. So I was like, there's no way Steffi isn't going to confront Lee about this. So I'm glad they did it really early, too. They didn't really waste any time with it. They got it out the way. But what was really interesting about this conversation was on Lee's side. Lee blame Steffi for Sheila Carter even coming into Finn's life in the first place and we've been saying this for a while bro some of us have been saying this for a while that Steffi is not only responsible for that shooter because she did provoke Steffi I mean Sheila into that, that dark alley really changed everybody's lives ever since but also uh, I'm glad Lee actually finally told Steffi that she blamed her for that situation and blamed the Foresters. You know what I'm saying? So this is going to be rocky because also if you know if you guys noticed like earlier in the episode, okay, so when I think when Finn was hugging Lee, she looked back over uh, Lee looked back over at Steffi and kind of gave her like a look like she bro, if I what I believe right now, one of the two sides, if not both of them are going to this could turn into like a Stephanie, like a mild version of Stephanie with Ridge. Remember how she used to always be overprotective with Ridge when it came to Brooke? I think this could be very similar. And I think Lee, I, I hope they actually do that because I would love to see Lee in like Stephanie's position where maybe Finn one day finds a new woman and then Lee tries to push that woman with uh, Finn. I think that'd be pretty fun to have that back in the show. Because those were some fun days when Steffi used to do that uh, to Brooke, man. <laughs> it used to really it used to really be fun, man. So, um, I hope they go in that direction, man, because that would be pretty fun. I mean, since Lee's still going to be on the show anyways, they might as well go ahead and do it. Um, you know, but obviously they wouldn't be able to do that right now because Steffi, I mean, Steffi and Finn just reunited. I think it's going to take some time before Finn you know gets there but we'll see but this is definitely the beginning of a distrust now because stephanie also asked lee like did you did you approve of us in a marriage or whatever and i thought that that was definitely a good a good question from stephanie um lee told her that, that as long as my son's happiness matters the most i don't believe her completely about that i do believe that she did not approve of stephanie but i also I also think that Lee didn't have a huge problem with Steffi until the shooting. I think that she did not like the fact that Sheila came into Finn, uh, Finn's life ever since she met her uh, because of Sheila Carter. And I do think that Lee probably since the shooting probably will never forgive Steffi for that. I, I do think that's, that's going to happen. Now, I think on Steffi's side, I don't think Steffi's going to forgive Lee for not telling anybody earlier. Um, so I think that this is going to be a very interesting situation to see the way this plays out. I definitely agree with Lee because I've been saying this for months now that it was Steffi's fault and stuff like that. But, um, you know, it, it's definitely one of those things where I can also see it from Steffi's point of view, too, because 
at the same time, you know, damn, you bet you was, you didn't know the truth for months. Like, that's kind of cool. And I know Ridge might have a problem with that. I think Ridge might snap on Lee about that um, in the future. So we'll see what happens. Because I know nobody really wanted to fight when it was in Monaco. That's why they waited until today to actually have this airing out. So very interesting stuff, guys. Um, you know, um, it definitely... I didn't, overall, I didn't expect it to play out this way, but it actually did, man. I'm telling you, man. Sometimes that's why we come on here and we talk about stuff, man. So, y'all let me know what's next, man, what y'all think is next with this and what y'all thought about this because I definitely want to hear from y'all in the comment section. Thank y'all for commenting yesterday in my preview video. I still haven't gotten back to y'all. I haven't had time to get back to y'all in the comment section. Hopefully, I get a chance tonight. It's been really busy. That's why I'm only doing one video because I was also going to talk about Ridge and uh, Taylor too. But uh, get this video a like on y'all way out of here, man. Hit that like button for me. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel, especially if you're new in the zoo. Any comments I got, definitely put them below. And if you want to donate to the channel, hit the Super Thanks button below, and I much appreciate that. But, uh, but yeah, I wanted to talk about Brook and Ridge. They had a little – they talked about this, uh, what happened with Deacon. So, uh, damn, I, I wanted to get to that too, but, uh, you know, I definitely don't got no time. But uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see if they pick that up tomorrow. Maybe I have a chance to talk about it tomorrow. Definitely, hopefully, if this Lee and Steffi stuff continues tomorrow, I'm definitely going to talk a little bit more about it tomorrow because I think there's some interesting layers here in the storyline. But uh, I'll see y'all tomorrow, man. Thank you for watching. After news, delight.